Hello and welcome to Mr. CFD. In this video, I want to show you how to generate the geometry of this product external flow passing through a flat plate in a space claim and then mesh it in ANSYS meshing software. To start generating the mesh, first we open a workbench window and when it is open from the left side uh, of the window, I mean analysis system, we can choose follow it, follow fluent and drag it to the blank window. And then you can see there are some, uh, some sections, geometry, mesh, setup and so on. The first one is geometry and if you right click on it, you can see there are some software that you can generate your geometry. The software that I chose to generate my geometry is space claim. So click on it. A space clean window is opened like this and now I want to generate my geometry which is a rectangle. Uh, to do that I can see a sketch in this view in which the yx uh, surface, actually yx sketch is activated. I click on it then I can choose my uh, needed command which is rectangle so from the center of my coordinate I can draw my geometry the length is 400 millimeters and now by dimension I can change the side lens which is 180 millimeters so now I want to exit a sketch mode and choose 3d mode and now the surface is created okay now I can uh, exit a space claim and transfer this geometry to ANSYS meshing After closing the space claim, uh, you can click on mesh, uh, double click actually, so that ANSYS meshing window will be opened. So yeah, ANSYS meshing window is opened like this and you can see your geometry in this view. First of all, check if the physics preference is on CFD and now we can uh, start to mesh the geometry. Uh, to do that, uh, choose Edge command and choose these two edges together, right click, insert and sizing. Uh, when you uh, choose Edge sizing, this table is opened here and the type of sizing uh, should be on number of division and I want to set, uh, set the value to 60 and here uh, you should um, change capture curvature to no so that uh, here we can have the behavior and the behavior should be hard it means that it means that uh, the meshing of other edges do not affect uh, these two edges and now it's time to give edge sizing to these two edges so right click insert sizing and change the type of sizing to number of division and the number of division should be 50 okay and here we should define bias to do that choose this pattern for the bias and give 10 as the bias factor uh, actually bias means that I want to have a smaller elements near the wall uh, but here this edge has reverse bias so click on it and here apply so both we have the bias type in the correct uh, shape actually and um, now we can right click on mesh insert and face meshing click on the surface apply 
uh, so that the structured mesh will be produced this way and now it's time to right click on mesh and generate mesh as you see the meshing is done and near this wall we have a smaller elements and if you want to check how many elements are created in mesh and expand a statistics yes three thousands elements are created I hope this video is helpful for you to benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training. Visit our website www.mr-cfd.com or contact us via info at mr-cfd.com.